We're going to start with this. Oh, someone's in denial. I feel like that you've moved on, that they don't want or you don't want to, to be with them anymore. How's this other person? You know, this other person over here says no drama. This is a person who doesn't want drama. They don't want to play games. This person over here, I feel like this person is having a very hard time letting you go, but it's not a good thing. It's like someone who will do anything to hang on to you in some way, Scorpio. And that means like um, coming into your dreams, coming into your energy, stalking you. It's just not, it's not a good look. It's not good what they're doing. Um, they're obsessing. They have emperor and the devil. It's like they're obsessing to the point of, um, I feel like this could cause some sort of like mental issue for them in their head. I'm getting their head, headaches, really bad headaches or something. Okay. This person's feeling super emotional. This person is also secretive. Yeah, I think they do weird things. It's hiding who they are, not the whole truth, may have a side piece, but I think this isn't about a third party. This is them just being kind of weird. Um, projecting onto you. Maybe you noticed that before. I feel like this is someone that you were with at one point. They have stories in their own head, makes up their own rules, puts their stuff on you, Scorpio. So this is like a narcissist, someone who has dumped um, their toxic energy on you, someone who has not done any inner work. I kind of want to focus though the reading on the, this other one. I don't want to say new person because I feel like you know this person for most of you, but let's see what this person is feeling. Engaging shows real interest, stays in contact, wants to continue. Hooked, already smitten by you, tracking you online, wants to go further, and then they're feeling groovy, grooving. Being in the moment, dances to their own beat, everything is fine to them. So this person is more easygoing. You can see that no drama, easygoing, wants to speak the truth. We're going to see. So I feel like someone dark has attached to your energy, Scorpio, and it may have been there for a long time, but how does this secondary person, or this one here, feel about you? How do they feel about you? It is swords in reverse. How interesting. Like they want to be free. They want to free you from something. They want to help you out. What are their feelings for Scorpio? What are their feelings for Scorpio? Six of Wands. It could be that they care about you a lot. They're proud of you. They could be proud to have you with them, you know, on their arm. They like to be with you. So is there love here though? Can you show me cups? How about love? Is there love with this person? Nine of Cups. A lot of love. Wish fulfillment. Sometimes I do cut, a oh, page of cups is about ready to fall out. I feel like there's a lot, a lot of love with this person, but I feel like there's also a lot of growing to do. Like you may be just at kind of the beginning stages where you do get along well. You are attracted to each other. You are having fun. They may not be in love already, but that's okay. But I, you know, and I'm kind of getting like they are protective of you, but it's not an overbearing protective energy. Uh, nobody really wants to be told what to do. So how do you feel about this person here? You guys get along really well. You have a lot in common. You have fun with this person. So you see like this could grow. Uh, show me how this person is going to be in the future with the two of you. Okay, they want a relationship. What do they like about you, Scorpio? You're an empress to them. Wow. Uh, let's ask what they don't like. How strong you are. Some of you need to ask for help. You need to back down a little bit and <clears throat> be vulnerable, be open, show your weaknesses. You can't do everything yourself. So, because I think some of you, it could be affecting your health. You may be noticing some health issues, some aches or some pains in your body right now. It's not like a full blown issue yet. I'm because I'm looking at her, you know, head. She, you may be getting headaches. Some of you have sinus issues also. Things like that. I feel like you do need to. Maybe while well, you have the hermit energy, maybe some of you need to rest. I like some of you are taking on too much, but like you have to. You feel like you, you don't. The bills aren't going to get paid. What is going to? What is this person going to do for you, Scorpio? What is it? What are they going to do for you? Or sorry, let you rest, take over, help you heal, in a sense. Okay. What do you see happening in the future between the two of you again? What do you see for a brand new beginning? Uh, tell me some details for Scorpio, what they're going to be doing or where are they going. Page of Cups, Hanged Man. I think this person, 
can plan things well. I think they like um, to, like how do you say it? Like they offer you different things to do. You look at them, you think, yeah, that would be fun, Ace of Wands. So I feel like this person is someone who could take the lead, but they do fun things. They're not controlling again. So I feel like you're also attracted to this person. I feel like the Ace of Wands, the sexual chemistry is there. Let's see if it is. How's the sexual chemistry between Scorpio and this person? Because we know that this is important to a Scorpio. Ace of Swords. Oh, that's like a strong one, a stiffy. That's like a lot of attraction there, both of you. Two of Cups is under the deck. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. I also feel like the Ace of Swords, so whether it's same sex or different, you guys can be open with each other about what you like and dislike and possibly, you know, try new things, feel comfortable. All right. Moving quickly, bringing this, being very happy. This could move very fast, honestly, with justice, because I did get, like, around the end of the month, this could be, could also have something to do with Valentine's Day coming in. That's always a window for some people who are, you know, looking for like a certain specific time to reach out since you just passed the holidays. What else does Scorpio need to know about this connection? Rolling the dice and just reaching out. They could be heartbroken or missing you. They have a heavy heart. It's meant to be. So they've been missing you. Maybe spirit has been pressing on them, making them think about you more. They could be someone who is in the military or was in the military. Whenever I get the heavy heart with it, the anchor, I always get military or tattoos, or possibly. Uh, maybe they have tattoos anyways on their arms. They could have a motorcycle. I'm seeing someone on a Harley. It looks like a Harley or something like that, an Indian or something along that line. could be any type of um, motorcycle, honestly. But... Someone who I feel like likes to have fun. All right, what else? Strongly attracted to each other. Maybe traveling to see you or likes to travel. Someone is coming, Scorpio. And again, truth be told, speaking their truth. Confession, clarity, revealing, and secrets. Okay. The fates. So is this fated? Wow. It is interesting because, again, I feel like this past energy was heavy and dark. Something about it was very dark. It almost feels demonic. I know it's not. Is this a person? But there's something about it feels very, like, karmic in nature. I feel like that person is going to get their karma that's leaving your energy. This feels like something, again, lighter, happier that you were, you're fated to have in your life. It's something that's, again, traveling, fun, it's lighter, it's easier. One more, please. Fated. A magician's sword, confidence in your magic. If you notice a lot of swords on you know, the cards right here, and that one card did, it talked about manifesting. So, because I kind of get like your magic manifesting, using your power and putting your intent into the results. Is there something Scorpio specifically needs to do at this time to make this happen or happen faster? I don't think you really need to do anything to make it happen. But I just feel pushed to ask this question. Something that you need to do. Okay, so have faith. So instead of having this worry, have faith. Keep manifesting. Focus on what you want. All right. So spirit sees that you are stressing out. Temperance. Okay. No wonder they asked me or told me, I should say, to ask that question. What does Scorpio need to know? Just trust. All is as it should be. Don't get stuck on any specifics. You don't have to do anything like specific or not do something. Again, you have that ship. It says set sail a new adventure. Explore beyond the horizon. I do get some of you traveling with your pets. I get someone worrying about what am I going to do with my pets, but I feel like it's going to be okay. You may be able to take them with you distance, something out of cycles, dreams, and luck. Yeah, look, divorce is under there. I do feel like whoever's at a distance, whoever's causing any sort of drama or coming into your dreams, um, are, they are going to receive some sort of karma. 
Something ending. Someone at a distance. Something's ending. There's dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Someone's angry right now. Someone may come into your dreams here, like I said. But I feel like that's going away with the luck card. Also, you may be having dreams to show you what's coming in. Your luck is changing. It says your right to be strong and optimistic about opportunities ahead. So, again, something's ending, something's beginning. But you have dreams. Okay. What does Scorpio need to know? you be dealing with someone who has a name like Casey. Um, I'm also getting... So maybe if you wanted to go back to school, you could be attending school again or going to school. That's something that you like want to do. Like if I feel like more like you want to learn something new or you want to finish a degree. I don't feel like you really need to go to school though for something new. I feel like you have everything you need right now to start something new if you wanted to. Again, I feel like your money situation is going to get easier. I feel like money will be coming in with this person so you won't have so much stress if you are stressing over many issues. Yeah, I just I hate that there's there's still this lingering energy of people who are watching you with the cat jealousy and gossip. So this past person could be talking about you. Because I kind of got these three cards, to be honest, have to do with that past negative energy and this is going to override it. Um, this could be that they do see you moving on and they're upset by that. Because I do have abundance and luck with the fish card coming out. Also, birds, news and messages. So good news around money, luck. So this both of these say luck. Some of you might gamble. You might like to play the lotto. You may win some money coming up here is also what I'm getting with the, with the card that came out earlier with the dice on it, taking a chance. But I think for most of you, it has to do with a person. Okay, they're saying leave that one there. That one's good. What would this person want you to know that won't that they may not tell you? I can feel your energy everywhere. I know I've let you down. I don't know if they let you down. I feel like this person over here with a heavy heart who's heartbroken, I feel like they feel or they see that you've been through so much, Scorpio. But they feel kind of bad for you. Because, again, they don't like that you're so strong. They want you to, like, give in. Something about, like, they, maybe they didn't help you earlier, last, like, sometime last year when they could have helped you or they didn't see that you were having so much trouble or something like that. I don't know if they technically let you down, but I, I, I do see that they didn't help out earlier when they, maybe they could have or something like that. They weren't aware. But I think this is divine timing. I think you had to go through what you went through, unfortunately. I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. And one more. We have memories of you are haunting me. Could be the past person, too, though. Memories are haunting them. So, hmm. <clears throat> I want my other deck of what they like about Scorpio. What do they like about you, Scorpio, specifically? It was love at first sight. I feel like you're fun. You guys are close, like a best friend. Mysterious. That's Scorpio energy. Confident. Yep. This is a love from long ago. Can mean past life soulmate connection as well. They feel like you're sincere. Um, sometimes to a fault, though, I kind of get also speaking your mind, the Scorpio energy, but um, it is what it is. Something about friends, meeting through friends. You guys have initially met through friends is how you met. They find that you're sexy, you're their soulmate, you're loving Scorpio, and you are woke. person is definitely not over you. So these are the things they like about you. I'm also getting something about that you take care of yourself, uh, your hair or your nails, or you always smell good, or you put um, effort into your appearance. They always like that about you. Uh, I do feel like some of you want to start some sort of like beauty or health or fitness or nutrition blog or YouTube channel or something, and I think that would really feed your soul if that's something you're passionate about. And I feel like they would back you on that. I feel like there's something that you are passionate about that you want to create. And it could be for money. It probably will earn you money, but it doesn't have to be. It's just something that would feed your, you know, your passion. So I feel like it's important in 2024 to work on things you're passionate about, whether it's, you know, animals or I mean, it could be at anything. What are you? What do you love to do? What do you love to talk about? That's your passion. I feel like this person is going to back you up, and um, so you may need money or you may just need the time or something like that. I feel like they. Some people I feel like may have made fun of you for the things you like to do, but I think those are just haters. Those are people that were jealous of you, Scorpio. So don't even let those people bother you. 
Under the deck, I do see playfulness again, cooperation in the dolphins, and I kind of get that, that off this person. Any other advice for Scorpio moving forward? Just keep an open mind, stay optimistic, and make the effort. All right. I'm feeling the energy of some of you are having insomnia or, or you know problems sleeping. Of course, go to a doctor first and um, first and foremost. But I do get this energy of whoever is around you who is very angry and who is sending their energy towards you. And it, you may be waking up around 2, 2 a.m., 3, 3.30, something like that. If this person does do any sort of magic or spells, again, there are there are uh, crystals that will block that. I, I believe obsidian is one of them. There's a couple of ones that are black. Also, ask your guides to um, help protect you. I mean, they should be anyways, but it doesn't hurt to ask again and to send this energy back to them if you feel it affecting you. So you could also do some saging, which I hate the smell of sage, or a, a slight you know, salt bath, clear the energy, things like that as well. But I do feel that, like that the energy is at its peak and it's going to be going away. Anything else Scorpio should know that they should, maybe should focus on? Could be a leadership role. Just, that's when I take charge of the situation. I kind of feel like you already have. I feel like this person who's coming in already sees that you're doing that. And they kind of want to take the reins from you. Not in a possessive, a controlling way, but in a way to like let you relax. I do feel like this is something else that you may be, like I said, working on this year that's fun. And you have perfect timing. Again, they told me to pull one more card to close it out. Because you have all these cards of time, perfect timing. Don't worry. Everything is arriving on schedule. No rush. Have faith. Be here now. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Have a great week, you guys.